Hello everybody, this is Jim and today I'm going to show you how to do a factory reset using the reset button which is right here on the SG series PFSense firewalls um, should also work on the RCCs uh, from the NetGate store um, I have a system hooked up behind the firewall here with the console just showing you the serial console output from the device uh, using the serial console is not necessary to do a factory reset with the reset button although you can uh, use option 4 on the console menu to do a factory reset if you have access to the console the reset button is handy if you don't have a console cable with you or anything else uh, you know the capability to do that rather, rather easily the, using the serial console on the on these SG series units is actually really simple there's it just takes a the right kind of USB cable to plug into the USB console and it's a USB serial adapter all rolled in one so all you really need is the USB cable and a, and a client um, but today we'll be talking about the button um, really uh, there's not much that much to it it's just a matter of timing uh, you gotta you know just have to watch the lights and everything um, first step just pull the power and put the power back in and watch the lights, you'll see they briefly go red and then they'll change to green and you see the console output back there, it's straight reset and it's starting to uh, count, or starting to go through the BIOS info we don't need to hold in the button right away, you've got about a 10-15 second window before you need to start holding it in I used just a toothpick with a flat end here you just need to hold this reset button in while the system boots Some mood lighting while we wait. Do, 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 do. And you can see the kernel boot messages scrolling by. And lights go red and they go out. Take out the toothpick. The lights will stay out until it starts to reboot. And then they go red as it reboots, then back to green. And that's it. When the system finishes the boot process here, it will be all back to normal in the factory default settings. Now, that won't remove packages. Uh, you know, it won't clean up the file system at all, it just takes your uh, config.xml takes it back to the default for the unit you've got so you know, reset your interface assignments and everything else and that's really it see you some other time